Bro, if Pons doesn't give me an A for this video, I'm a hacker. Sh I'm a hacker. I'm a hacker. Real shot call. You're recording? Bro, what the? What is this, like the tenth take? Can we? Let's get this over with. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. We'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. Fucking thing sucks. All right, my name is Dave, and this is for Pond's Ethical Hacking Class, Spring 2016. This is my individual video, and in this video, I'll be covering the USB rubber ducky. Hey, if you're watching this, you probably don't know what it is, or probably do, and you're trying to grade me for this, so let me make sure I do a great job. So, let me give you the copy and paste definition. The USB rubber ducky is a keystroke injection tool disguised as a generic flash drive. Computers recognize it as a regular keyboard and accept pre-programmed keystroke payloads at over a thousand words per minute. Sounds fancy. Uh, the payloads are crafted using a simple scripting language and can be used to drop reverse shells, inject binaries, brute force pin codes, and many other automated functions for the penetration tester and system administrator. So in plain English, it's a little USB device that acts as a keyboard but really isn't and so bad people can just write scripts and put it on there and they'll perform certain commands like hack your computer, steal your pictures, take screenshots when you're not looking, take a video once you're out of the shower, all kinds of creepy stuff man. But in all seriousness, this is a powerful pen testing tool. Uh, capable of doing a lot, and we're gonna go through it. All right, so I found out about the rubber ducky like a couple, well, a year or so ago. Um, I was in a hacker then, but now I'm, I'm legit since taking ethical hacking. So that's why I figured I'd do my presentation on, on the rubber ducky. But this is what comes in the package. All right, second throw. All right, this is the USB rubber ducky itself. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't look like your typical USB. That's because it's a microcontroller. It's a 32-bit microcontroller. On the back side here is your micro SD card slot, um, which, let me see here. There it is. You'd place an SD card into there containing your, your script, put it in there, plug it into your computer, and it'd run it. Uh, depending on how you write the script, you could have it written so you have to press a button to start running the script, or once you plug it in, it'll just run it automatically. Uh, it comes with a unsuspecting USB case. So pretty much put this case around it, and no one would be the wiser to think of it as a regular USB flash drive when it is not bada bang bada boom you're a fool uh, this is the micro SD card reader that comes with it to make it easy to be read by a computer so you just place your micro SD in there plug into your computer and you're good to go um, this is an OTG adapter uh, this connects into an Android phone you have the micro USB and turns the micro USB to a full type A USB. So for you to hack phones and whatnot. Let's get all that out of the way. This is the main guy. All right, now let's take this over to the computer. I currently have the micro SD card attached to an adapter plugged into my computer. And then here I just went ahead and looked up a simple Hello World script. Um, this script is pretty basic. What it does is it opens Notepad and type in Hello World. Um, and this is how it does it. First, it sets the delay. So once you plug in the USB, or the map, sorry, the rubber ducky, it waits 3000 milliseconds, which is three seconds. And then the next command it executes is GUI R. 
The command GUI is pretty much the Windows key, uh, followed by the R key. And what this does, it brings up the run window. So let me just do it on my keyboard to show you guys. So this is what the, that command does. Uh, after that, it waits 500 milliseconds to give it some time to you know process. Then the command string pretty much inputs a, a string into a window that's open or a text box that's currently open. So string is how you input string into a window. Next is going to wait another 500 milliseconds. Then uh, enter. The enter command is a simulation of the enter key. When you press enter, that's all it does. And the ne follow the next command would be the delay of 750 milliseconds. Then the hello world string will be inputted into the window we have open, which in this case would be the notepad. Then it will be followed by the enter key. All right. So this is a basic hello world script that opens up notepad, inputs hello world, and stays there. That's it. And to be able to run this script, you would just um, copy your written script. You could write it in any text editor, like Notepad. Just copy your written script. Go on over to the Duck Toolkit because the Rubber Ducky doesn't process, you know, just text. It needs to be a bin file. So we're gonna go on over to the Duck Toolkit, copy and paste into this text input field. We select our keyboard layout depending on our uh, the country we're currently in, or the country the keyboard layout of the machine you'll be running the script on. So my current keyboard layout is you know United States since I live in the United States. Duh. Then you generate the script. It's gonna create a bin file and your text file. The text file is pretty much what we have written, but what we need to put on the uh, micro USB micro sorry the micro uh, SD card is the .bin file, so we'll click download .bin, we'll save it on our computer. Uh, it has to be named inject for it to be ran once you plug in the ducky. So we'll take the newly created bin file and go on over and put it on our SD card. Alright, so it's done, we'll eject our so SD card go ahead. and remove it. All right, so I'm going to place the SD card into the rubber ducky and then plug it into the machine and it should start executing and here we go. All right, so open the run, tap the notepad to launch notepad, hello world. All right, so we're gonna pick a uh, more complex script here I found the Wi-Fi password grabber so if you're running Windows um, whenever you connect to a Wi-Fi network you know the password you use to connect to that to that network gets saved on the machine and you can use uh, a, a, any tools to pretty much grab that information the SSID and the password saved for that network um, don't get it confused with actually cracking a Wi-Fi network. Uh, pretty much Windows allows you to grab the password of a saved Wi-Fi network. Right? And this and this script allows you to grab that information and email it to an email. This would come in handy if let's say you have a uh, you forgot the, the password to your Wi-Fi, but you um you already have a computer that's already connected to it. So you just be able to run the script. Or you could just use those commands and type in them by hand, but then that takes time. But if you want to, if time is of concern, you could just download a tool and grab the Wi-Fi password uh, using a tool. Right? But if you're up to no good and you're at a friend's house and they refuse to share their Wi-Fi password, you could just bring a USB rubber ducky with you, plug into their machine, you'll be able to grab the password. And yeah, so that's one way of using this amazing tool. So let's let's go over the script. Um, here, the author indicated what you need to change in the file. So pretty much, 
you you're gonna need to input a Gmail account and password to be able to send that'll be the account uh, sending the information being collected and then you as a receiver you put the email you want to receive so what's gonna happen is this script is gonna set up an SMTP uh, server which is an email server to be able to communicate to an email address to send you the log text yeah, which, is, which contains all the information you just got off the computer so here REM the REM or the REM uh, the REM command is just indicates comment so just like in high level languages double slash would be used for comments you use REM for that here in our Ducky script you have Windows R which is the Windows key plus the R button what this does is just like the GUI R it opens up the run box we have delay you know we have string we're gonna use the command prompt this is like this is used to launch the command prompt you know f from the run box you have enter to enter the string we just input it would delay it up to one second and then these are the commands used in windows to get the ssid of the network you want so this is just the basic windows command to do that and we're going to input that command into the, our command prompt which we opened using the string command then we'll press enter to run that command and then you'll be creating a text file using this command next you get the network type the, authentic the authentication you get the password then we'll delete the text of what was created when we got all this information then we'll create a log text we'll mail that text but before we could send it out we need to start PowerShell create a SMTP server and we'll be using Gmail well this is all the commands used to do such a thing um, yeah this is the account we'll be sending it from and then this is the receiver Gmail account that will send this is the text the subject of the email you'll send the text file at the end of it all after you've completed all these commands you'll delete the log text you just created the log text you just sent and then you'll exit out of CMD pretty simple but it's really efficient so all those commands get performed really fast so the only downside to our rubber ducky as a penetration tool is that it doesn't run in the background it has to open up the window and type in the commands as if you know someone what was at the computer typing it in so it's not really a stealth tool but the way you could use this tool is uh, for uh, if you were to use it for malicious purposes um, it's not stealthy but it gets the job done very quickly uh, but for administrative purposes you know if you're managing systems and you don't want to and put those commands in every individual computer one at a time you could just get a rubber ducky plug into the computer after a few seconds move on to the next and just do that it makes everything more efficient so let's go ahead and copy this script We'll copy the script into our duck toolkit. Uh, before I before I generate the script, I have to set the email address I want to send the log text from and the email I want to receive that log text. All right, so I went ahead and modified the script and added uh, sender email my login information with the recipient email address went ahead and created the bin downloaded onto my SD card and gonna go ahead and plug it in see what happens All right that's the sound of the rubber ducky
Alright, these are the commands being executed. It's gonna open up PowerShell to be to create a email server. There it is. And that's it, it's completed. Let's go ahead and check my email account, see if it's there. Oh, there it is. So to conclude, this is a human interface device that acts as a keyboard. So pretty much whatever you can do, on a machine with a keyboard, you can do with the rubber ducky. Um, the way it works, put your script on here, attach it to the ducky, plug into the computer, and run the script. So you just have commands running. So the only downside is you need physical access to the machine. So if you're a hacker who likes, you know, hacking from the comfort of your own home, you're not gonna like this. You actually have to be physically present to plug this into the machine you want to attack. So, all my introverts, nah, this is not for you. Um, for system administrators, this could pretty much make your job faster or more efficient. You know, if you have a couple computers you have to, you know, modify, or, you know, you could just put your script on here with the proper commands or whatever you want to do. Plug into, plug into your machine, it'll take at most a couple minutes. You know, from a couple seconds to a couple minutes. And that's it. Uh, this is pretty much, there's practically no learning curve. As you saw, only use commands like enter, string, delay, uh, windows, key, all that good stuff. Um, it's a simple script. You just write your script copy and paste into the encoder on the Ducky Toolkit website, generate the bin, put it on here, you're good to go. So, this is the Rubber Ducky. It's pretty unique and pretty impressive if you ask me. Um, it's a very simple, but very powerful. All right, once again, me amo Dave. This has been my individual video for ethical hacking for ponds spring 2016 i'll catch you next semester psych i'm graduating